Yay! Hello everybody! Welcome again to Drumsticks on the channel. You know I am Alberto Iglesias and here we have a different pair of drumsticks every week. Uh, okay, uh, episode 69. Eh? No more comments. <laughs> Closer to the 100, let's say like that. Um, cool, let's talk about drumsticks. Uh, finally, I've been able to try or to to test a pair of drumsticks made of this uh, horn beam uh, boot. Uh, I've mentioned that the, uh, this boot in the past because uh, I think the first time was when I was talking about the Balbex model because I knew they have another um, line which is made of, of this boot and it happens uh, the same with the Atner. Uh, I've recently made a, a, an episode of, of, uh, of this company who has recently started to, to uh, uh, have entered in the Spanish market. Um, and uh, well, finally I've been able to try this, this uh, type of boot. But first, as always, first, before uh, talking about this, this model, let's see a picture, okay? Here you have the Akner uh, 5B, it's, it's a 5B and it's the A budget, okay? Here you have it. Cool. Um, okay, today, honestly, I'm not gonna say a lot about the sizes and all that stuff. It's Honestly, it's a five. Uh, it's a five B. It's more or less the same idea as all the five Bs. Um, and that you have the, here in the in the page in the Akner web page, you have all this information. Uh, it's uh, okay. Keep you have the sizes and all the stuff. But I think today the most important thing today is to talk about the boot. And in fact, I ordered a five A. They didn't have it in stock, so they sent me this five B instead. So I really don't. Uh, I'm gonna mention a, a few tips about the, the model uh, at the end, but today I think the, the, uh, the most important thing is the boot, okay? Uh, cool, what, what can I say about the horn beam? Well, I've been just doing some research on, you know, on internet and, uh, well, apparently it's a, it's a boot which is the, the density of the boot, it's between the uh, apple, uh, sorry, not apple, with the maple and, and hickory. Okay, it's, it's in the middle more or less, it's between, okay? Uh, but at the same time, they mentioned in many places, they say that it's, it's kind of a hard boot. Huh? So, uh, what's the thing with this boot? Okay, the, the main, uh, the key point of this boot is, is that it's an European uh, boot. So, uh, for, all, for Europeans, uh, European companies that are making drumsticks, it's... Uh, easy to understand that it's cheaper to produce because they don't have to, uh, well, you know, I, I, uh, I think I mentioned that in the past, but maybe you know that um, the hickory that practically, I would say all companies are using for the drumsticks, it's uh, American hickory. Uh, apparently it's, it's uh, the right one to, do, to use for that. Um, so if you are an European company, you have a problem, a problem, let's say, because you have to bring that boot from the from uh, uh, America, right? So using this boot they have they can reduce all that cost so it makes sense that it's cheaper to produce and in fact all at least all the models that I've seen so far made of horn beam are way cheaper in fact than a regular hickory model, right? Uh, in fact in, in the case of Agner it's maybe two or three euros less a pair of, of uh, horn beam. So, first thing that you can, you can pay attention. Um, okay, uh, another thing I've done, well, uh, I just a quick tip or uh, something I, I maybe you've noted that it's, it's, uh, it's uh, clear that the, the color of the wood is uh, clearer than uh, or lighter than the regular hickory. Uh, maybe you can see that here. It's, in fact, this, this looks like uh, like white, if you compare one with with the other. Um, cool. Uh, what is well, you know that depends. That of course can depend also of the kind of finish, of the wax, the lacquer, and the stuff that I, 
it's pretty clear that it's it's a uh, um, lighter, okay, or clearer, or however you want to tell. Um, what is gonna say? Okay, about the 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 hardness of the of the of this boot. They say in many places I've seen that it's they say that it's kind of hard, but it, apparently they have to the process or they have to apply to the boot. It has to be well done so they can use this boot for drumsticks. Uh, they have to dry it right and all that stuff. Uh, I know they have to do it in all boots, but apparently here they have to pay attention to that. And um, and uh, about the weight, it's not really clear for me if it's uh, uh, it's okay. Uh, if, we, if we think about the density, it should be lighter than a, than a 5B. So the first thing I did was to uh, weight. This is a, a regular 5B from Bitfirth. And I weighed both, and this was a little bit heavier. Okay, so I thought, oh, so this boot is heavier. But what happens is, if you compare these two, you're gonna realize pretty quick that this one, the the horn beam one, it's uh, longer than this, and at the same time, the taper or not the taper, the neck, it's um, thicker in this case too. So we have way more boot here, well, way more, I don't know, a little bit more at least. If you compare this, you pair this to here, you have, I think it's enough <laughs> to make a difference. So, so uh, I, I don't have uh, exact measures and all that, but I would say that it's a little bit lighter than a rural hickory, uh, not, uh, not, not so much as a, as a maple model, but it's, a little bit below uh, the weight of a hickory model, okay? So, that's uh, what I can say uh, just about the hardness and the durability and all that. Maybe it's the only thing I, I just realized in this one, which is the one I assume that is the one that I've been using on the hi-hat, the right. Um, I can see small pieces that are, you know, probably hitting the, the hi-hat or maybe crossing and all that. So, uh, well, you know, uh, as a matter of fact, I can talk a lot about durability of the drumsticks because I just used it for a week. So um, it's really hard to compare. Uh, in this case, just to, to say something, it's just maybe in this case, you can see that they are small pieces, scratches and all that, uh, that it's not so usual in other models. Uh, but I'm not sure if this is because of this week, because of the weather or whatever. It can be many, many things in, in one week is not enough time, I think. What I can say is, well, for, before just tr before we cap, uh, let's say let's just talk a little bit about this model. Uh, as I was saying, this is the neck; it's a little bit thicker. The tip; it's if we compare these two, we are going to see that the 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 tip here, it, I would say that the acorn is uh, more pronounced here. And in this case, they have more, uh, I would say beefier, I don't know if it's the word I can use here, but they have more material, it's flatter, the, more flat around. So, and they have thicker neck, the taper, so the taper is kind of different, different, sorry. Uh, and it's longer at the same time. I would say that it's uh, more similar to the Vincent model, in this case, than in, to the uh, Bigfoot. So uh, it's, it's gonna give you a little bit more power, a little bit more punch, if you compare that with the, with the Bigfoot model. Uh, but what I can say, just to recap, I think they're really, really good. And it feels great playing, nothing to say about the I don't know, <laughs> nothing peculiar about them. And I, I said, I'm saying that in, in a good sense because uh, if we compare, uh, I mean, if we talk about two or three euros less, sometimes you are expecting, you oh, know, maybe they're gonna uh, break, you know, they're gonna break fast or they blah, 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 have some problems and stuff. They are, I think they are well done, well finished. Uh, I have to talk, about this uh, trick in the in, in, in 
the future I'll talk about that. Um, but anyway, I think they're a great pair of drumsticks, honestly. And uh, the only problem I see is that if you, uh, I don't know if I've said that, but if you are um, the the main problem I think you're gonna find with the horn beam is that most companies that are producing these they are not gonna have a lot, you know, a lot of options. They're gonna make maybe two, three, four five models or the basic models 5a 5b 7a in the case of of uh, Achner they are producing five models of this so you are not going to be able to test or to maybe to you know to adapt the drumstick but if you are prefer basic models if you are in a budget of course if you have to pay attention to that uh, maybe for practicing maybe for you know rehearsals I don't know, if you are a heavy hitter, you are breaking a lot of drumsticks and you need to, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I honestly think it's a great option. It's, it feels really good. The rebound is really great. Uh, so they are well done, honestly. They are, I, I, I can tell you nothing uh, or anything strange that I can see. So it feels, feels good. So I would say this is a good pair of a, a good option and a good pair of drumsticks. Okay. So, uh, but as I was saying, if you want to go a little bit, you know, one step ahead and you know try this taper or this combination or this tip or blah blah, blah uh, you're gonna be. Uh, it's I'm pretty sure it's gonna have you're not gonna have a, a lot of options in that way. But as I was saying. If you are in a budget, you have all that kind of things, you have to pay attention to all, all that stuff. Good, good options, uh, indeed, okay? That's all I have, okay? So, uh, see you, you know, next Sunday. I'm waiting for you, okay? Don't forget it. Goodbye.